In this video, I'm going to share with you the easiest blitz to set up in Madden 22. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips that we post every single day right here on the YouTube channel. Now guys, in this video, we're going to be breaking down the Mike Blitz 3. We're breaking down a very unique way that you can run this blitz where I think it gives you a specific advantage to formations like gun bunch or trips tight end or bunch tight end. Any kind of three wide receiver set, this is a great blitz to run. Now before we go too far into the setup, I do want to let you know that I have officially released my 46 defensive guide. So out of the 46 playbook, it's actually centered around the 335 and the 335 wide formations as well as the nickel normal formation, which is one of the most slept on formations in Madden this year. And what's really cool about this, guys, is that we've not only given you the, all of that content that is really, really good, it's got the best coverage defenses in, in the game, it's got really incredible pressure specifically for bunch, um, but also what we've added is we've added in the dollar three two six. This is one of the defenses that I think you're going to start to see uh, become much more meta. It's on the cusp of becoming the probably the best defense uh, in the game, and so we give you a little bit of a bonus um, bonus deal on that. And what comes with this guide also is if there's anything that we need to update, anything gets patched, anything any zone coverage concept changes, we're going to update you on the guide completely for free so it's a one-time purchase of $15 there's no reoccurring thing once you buy it it's yours forever um, and again all you have to do to get it is just click that link in the description that being said I want to show you this preview play this is a blitz out of Mike Blitz 3 all we're gonna do is we're gonna globally blitz the linebackers just like so we're gonna press coverage until that linebacker goes that middle linebacker goes into the gap sometimes you might have to um, Sometimes you might have to uh, pinch your linebackers. I'm not sure if I moved him, so let me just throw the ball away and we'll just reset the play here. Typically, you just don't want to move him. You Ideally, because the person you want to use her is you actually want to use her this safety this year, uh, in my personal opinion. So again, low be your linebackers. Just press your coverage a couple times. Eventually, he'll go. There he goes. <laughs> and eventually, he'll go down into the A gap. Now, from that point, that's pretty much it. The blitz is set up. Your job is you're just going to kind of hover in the opposite a gap put your user on a blitz is what i like to do and then i'm just going to qb contain and essentially i'm going to hold left trigger as soon as the ball snapped if the running back blocks i'm going to kind of step in a little bit if not i'm just going to jump out into coverage what you'll see here snap the ball so we're going to get absolute crazy pressure super hot blitz right off the edge really really easy uh pressure against the gun button so again here's your setup just globally put your linebackers Press coverage until that middle linebacker goes in the a gap, or into the A-gap. And then QB contain, that's it. And then you're just coming over here with your user and kind of hovering this left side A-gap right behind the nose guard. And at the snap of the ball, you're going to get absolute screaming pressure. What's really cool about this defense is the disengages that you can create because you're going to be blitzing your middle linebacker. Now, if your middle linebacker were to go over here, as you see, this is actually not preferred but just get on the right side gap and you're gonna do the same exact thing. And as you see, the pressure is gonna just completely scream. Now, you're only sending five, but I wanna give you a way that you can get maybe some better coverage on the field because when we add up to this from 335 normal, the right outside linebacker is gonna be a safety. And this is one of my favorite little tricks whenever I'm defending a formation like Gun Bunch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna globally whistle linebackers. We're gonna press coverage until he goes in the A gap. But now here's the trick. We're gonna go ahead and we're going to crash our defensive line out, okay, just like that. We're gonna QB contain. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that right of screen linebacker and we're just gonna put him into whatever assignment we want. So we get an additional cover player to the bunch side of the field. And then obviously our user, we're covering the running back. So what you see here is you're gonna get that same really screaming pressure but you're going to get that with an additional player in coverage to that uh, to that bunch or that trip side. Let me show you that one more time. We didn't get a great result there. Uh, I think I stood on the wrong side. So again, wherever that linebacker goes, you're opposite. That's really important. Uh, I think I messed that up on that last one. But anyway, here you see there's your setup. And at the snap of the ball, what you should see is we should get that left edge pressure screaming. As you see right there, we get that nice glitchy little edge rush 
from our fast linebacker. So again, just go up and put your linebackers, crash your line up, zone out that uh, blitzy linebacker on the right side of the screen, and then you're just gonna QB contain, that's it. And as you see here, this is going to screen at gun bunch. Very consistent pressure and just amazing, amazing to me. The coverages that you can create from this are really limitless to be honest and like I said just really important that you understand that your job is whichever side that linebacker goes down you just go down on the other side and as you see it allows you to play some really really good coverage out of this you're gonna be able to take away one or two quick reads and that's all you need to do this year to get a stop so thanks for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it I hope it was helpful for you it's a little bit of a different spin on how to run the Mike Blitz 3 but I personally think this is much more effective for formations like shotgun bunch or trips tight in or stuff like that where if you can just jump at the running back with your user i think that's a little bit more effective this year and so that's what i like to do and um, because the flats are so hard to stop especially to the running back so we can just take that way with our user gives us an additional zone on the field and what i really like about this is it really gives us a good shot if they want to run a flood concept so for example um, if they run a flood concept here to the bunch side, you're going to notice there's not gonna, they're not going to have a ton open, um, especially if we go ahead and we create a cover two. So you see right here, I could create a cover two to that bunch side because my user is right here. If anyone goes vertical, I can go ahead and just jump on them. No big deal, right? But as you see right here, your pressure screams. You don't have to stand there very long. Well, you don't really have to even hold them, to be honest. Let me show you real quick. You don't have to... Um, you don't have to just go crazy with your user. So like right here, I'm not even gonna hold. I'm just gonna run instantly into coverage, snap the ball, and look at how the pressure's still coming in. I didn't hold at all. I just stood in the gap and then immediately ran out. So that's what's so cool about this defense. A very unique way to run three through five wide. And in my opinion, better, especially for trips and bunch formations, this has been absolutely locked down in weekend league. So I would encourage you right now, if you if you want to get my full 46 defensive guide, there is a link in the description of this video. You can get the defensive guide right now for just 15 bucks. And also just remember, it's not just 335 wide. We're covering 335, 335 wide, nickel normal, and dollar 326. So a lot of really, really, really good content in there. So I'd encourage you to go check it out. Be sure to look out for updates if you've already gotten the guide as we're gonna be adding to it over the course of the next couple weeks as well with any patches or anything so we need to change. Uh, but this defense is really, really, really good. So thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you wanna get the full 4-6 defensive guide, there is a link in the description.